Welcome to the digital tour of the art room. We're going to start here at the first counter right away when you come in the door. You're going to notice that there's two little wooden boxes on the top. This is going to be where you turn in your art projects. Just make sure that you're putting them in the fifth grade box and not the sixth grade box so that you get all your credit. On the top of the counter you'll also notice that there's some erasers and some pencils that are there for you to use while you're here in the art room. I just ask that you really make sure you put them back when you're done so we don't run out of pencils or erasers before the end of the school year. Underneath, you're going to see there's these totes. The totes are full of different materials that you can use in the art room that you can just help yourself to whenever you need them. Whether it's crayons or markers or colored pencils, scissors or rulers, just go on over and get what you need. Please make sure you put it back when you're all done so we all can find it the next time we need it. The other thing you can see is the far left tote is going to be where our scrap paper is. That's the paper that you can use for free draw whenever you have extra time in the art room. Next is my desk and board area. This is where all of my mess sits, but it's also where we take notes, where you can look to see what we're going to be working on for our next fifth grade project. You can also look up here on our little area where it says fifth grade can, and it tells you what the project is that we're going to be working on for the week. In the back of the room here, you can see our digital creation station. This green wall and green table are going to be where we work together to create some really cool digital projects in 5th and in 6th grade. Across from our digital creation station, we have a bookshelf full of books and activities that you can read or do if you finish a project early. We also have the kiln room door that has the big kiln in it that we use to cook our clay. We have a paper cutter that's for Mrs. Carlisle's use. We also have our extra storage room also another place that you don't need to go. Over here we have our large sink, our hand washing sink. We should have about four or five people back here at a time. Any more than that and there's just not enough room. This is the sink we use for washing up our hands, but we don't use this sink for washing up our paint brushes or our paint trays or any of that stuff. As we come around to this corner you can see that we're almost back to the main door of the art room. This last counter is where we see our wash-up sink. The wash-up sink is where we are going to wash up our paintbrushes and our paint palettes and all that messy stuff. It's also kind of our supply counter. It's where our totes get set. The totes that have the markers or the colored pencils or the rulers, whatever we're using for our current project. That can be setting over here or if there's some other supplies that you might need for a project, that would come over to this counter also. I hope this tour of the art room has helped you find your way around the art room just a little bit better.